five mysterious people who may never be identified. Number five, the mad trapper of Rat River, Albert Johnson. Albert Johnson was a pseudonym for a fugitive responsible for a massive manhunt in Canada's Yukon Territory in 1931. Authorities were alerted to the man after neighbouring trappers complained that Johnson was tampering with their traps. When two constables showed up at his cabin built on the banks of the Rat River to question him, he barricaded his doors. They later returned with a warrant to force their way in, but Johnson shot at them until they retreated to gather reinforcements. After several days, a posse of men and dogs approached again and dynamite was used to collapse Johnson's cabin. Rising from the ruins, Johnson opened fire and after a 15 hour standoff in sub-zero temperatures, the posse retreated again. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police were summoned and chased Johnson for 150 miles in blizzard conditions. He was able to elude the RCMP for days by hiding his footprints in caribou tracks until a search plane joined the manhunt. After climbing over a 7,000 foot mountain peak, he was finally spotted from the air and cornered in a shootout. In his possession was $2,000 in American currency and gold, but his real identity and reason for fleeing remains a mystery to this day. When forensic tests were conducted in 2007, it revealed the unidentified man had an asymmetrical tailbone and one foot longer than the other. All suspected and rumoured true identities, however, were ruled out when DNA samples failed to return any matches. Number 4. The Christmas Island Sailor In February 1942, a lifeless sailor was found floating on a raft in the Indian Ocean, just off the coast of Christmas Island. He has since been a subject of great mystery and several extensive investigations have tried and failed to identify the man. It is thought the lifeboat came from the Australian Navy ship HMAS Sydney, which was sunk in 1941 by a German merchant raider. Rumours suggest the raider may have been sailing under a false flag and eliminated all survivors to cover up an illegal attack. The raft, a curly float, was commonly used on warships during World War II and was branded Made in Australia. Yet the uniform the man wore was not from the Australian Navy and it is not known how he could have escaped the German raider. In 1998, Australia exhumed the man and an autopsy found that shrapnel struck the skull and lodged in the left forehead of his body. The fragments appear to be from a German shell but DNA tests on relatives of the crew failed to link him to the ship. Number 3. Perseus Perseus is the codename for an unidentified Soviet spy accused of successfully breaching United States national security at the Los Almos National Laboratory and the White Sands Missile Range during the Manhattan Project in the 1940s. The first reference to Perseus came from the KGB archives that were temporarily open to researchers after the fall of the USSR. According to notes from Russian intelligence Colonel Vladimir Chikov, or Perseus was instrumental in the Soviet atomic program supplying secrets which helped the Soviets develop their own bomb less than five years after the United States in 1949. The Venona Project was a counterintelligence program that decrypted Soviet messages and covered references to Perse, which could be short for Perseus, indicating the spy was a crucial Soviet source on the Manhattan Project. Despite these findings, a conscientious debate continues over Perseus's identity and whether she or he actually existed. Number 2. Roland Doe Roland Doe is an unidentified 14-year-old boy who was allegedly possessed by demons and underwent exorcisms in the 1940s. The ritual sought after his family reported unexplained floating objects and an evil voice coming from the boy, believing they were truly dealing with the power of the devil. The boy was moved to the Alexian Brothers Hospital in St. Louis, an institution known for its discretion and a place where the local Jesuit order could keep the proceeding secret. Frightening details of the proceedings leak to the public, but a full account is thought to be sealed by the Catholic Church. A detailed diary kept by the Reverend in attendance is rumoured to have been locked in a room until the hospital was demolished. According to the priest who led the violent exorcism, the anonymous subject went on to lead a rather ordinary life. Number 1. The Persian Princess in October 2000, Pakistani authorities were alerted to the existence of a video filmed by Ali Akbar that depicted an alleged ancient mummy he was selling for 600 million rupee or about 11 million dollars. Akbar told police he received the mummy from a friend who discovered it near the border of Afghanistan after an earthquake. Ahmed Hassan Dani, an archaeologist from the Qayyad A. Azam University, initially claimed the mummy dated to 600 BC. The inscriptions on the mummy's sarcophagus allegedly indicated its inhabitants 
was the daughter of King Xerxes I of Persia. She was wrapped in a stole consistent with Egyptian mummification and was supposedly the only mummy encountered in Persia. However, further analysis revealed her coffin was only 250 years old and the map below the mummy was only five years old. And after unwrapping the mummy, investigators found the body was actually a modern woman who died around 1996. There were signs of blunt force trauma and the mummification was likely an elaborate hoax intended to mask a crime. After years of failure to identify the mystery woman, she was eventually buried with proper rights in 2008.